All right, I think we're live. Just waiting for the countdown to come up. All right, boys. Gonna let pe people gather in here. Gather in, gather in. What's up, everybody? It's time for another Power Comics live stream. It's been a minute. For another Power Comics live stream. It's been a minute. Oh. Wait, someone's got their YouTube open and it's feeding back. Wait, someone's got their YouTube open and it's feeding back. <laughs> Who is it? Probably me. Okay. All right. Uh, it's been a bit. It's been about, what has it been? Uh, I don't know, like four months since we did a video. I don't know. Lee, do you remember the last time we did the video, the, the, the um, LGP show? Was that more yeah, than four months ago? Yeah, that was about two or three months ago. Was it? Six it months? Like, I mean, time, time flies, so maybe it was longer ago. I think it might have been longer since we well, did it. Well, it was after the summit. It was about a month or two after the summit, and that was in November. So I think we did it in December oh, or right. January. You're right. So the LGP show was three months ago. So it's been about three months since we've done a live stream, but super happy to have everybody back. We got some, we got, we got a, we got a new friend here as well. Sean will be joining us. We got Lee and Gabe is actually traveling uh, tonight. So, or he's out of town and his internet's spotty. So he'll be on the next show. We'll have Gabe back on the next show. And when we cover more traditional power comics, but tonight it's golden age, only golden age guys. You psyched? I'm feeding back again on somebody's YouTube page. Yeah, I don't... That's, that, me. that's me. I'm just opening up, but I'm muting I'm okay. right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, shout out to people we got in the chat. We got Steve. We got Ivan. We got Wolf Mike. We got Irv. We got Hans is drawing some naughty comics while... Um, welcome, everyone. Doing this. Welcome, welcome. Gather, gather. Metalhead Bob, what's going on, man? Uh, Fletcher Hanks, did he draw any torture devices to punish evildoers? I don't know. I think we're mostly focusing on cover arts tonight. I don't think Fletcher Hanks ever did a proper I don't know. comic That's cover, right? I don't know if he ever did. You know, one thing about Fletcher Hanks that I didn't know is I didn't I know. know that Fantoma is literally the first female superhero with like superpowers. I didn't know that. Did you know that? That's almost like a power comic in the golden age. Oh, it is. Fletcher Hanks has <laughs> got some real yeah. street cred among these parts. That's for sure. Hey, James. Great to have the power back. We're taking the power back. Absolutely. So, everybody get ready. You guys ready to talk, talk torture and death yeah. tonight? It's great to be here. Good. Oh, yeah. Very excited for this. Very, mm, very fun too. topic. <laughs> we got to figure out what the next topic is going to be. Hypodermic know, needle these covers. These two came very naturally. I, they I, I'm did. I'm sure that you'll think of another very good one since you, you came up with both these very very easily. But <laughs> it was LGP instantly, and then this was uh, another one that you came up with. LGP as was we were really thinking cool. of that one. So I don't know. What, I don't know what you'll think of next. LGP had some stuff I, I hadn't considered. <laughs> and. Yeah, and the one, some of the ones that I, I had considered, like uh, Green Mask, number seven yeah. or eight. It wasn't yeah, really right. little green. It was yeah, it was mid, mid green. It was kind of mid, mid green. Mid green. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the little green people was, show was great. It was a fun topic. Yeah, totally awesome. Everybody's pouring in. We got one more minute, and we'll start the show. Um. Got some great Ajantars back, guys. I don't know if you saw that. Saw. So, I haven't watched that video yet. I need to, to see that. Yeah, it's in the archives. I'm, I'm, I am happy. You know, it's so... I actually didn't pre get them pressed before I sent them in. I was like, ah, eh, fuck it. Who's going to press Ajantar, right? And uh, one came back a 9-6. So I probably should have pressed it because I definitely would have gotten the 9-8. So I definitely got to do that. Got to do yeah. that. Got to get a 9-8 Jontar for sure so yeah Fletcher Hanks is a power OG says Daniel Moeller absolutely what's up Daniel Daniel runs the get, uh, get this guys he runs the power comics fan account on Facebook so he runs our fan page our fan mail is uh, well, that's cool. his, he sorts that for us thanks Daniel um, alright guys let's start the show we'll see you on the other side here we go
What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Power Comics live stream. I am Evan Husney, and we got two very special guests, two really good friends of mine, uh, here to talk some Golden Age, some torture devices. We got uh, first in the middle there, we got Sean, aka Pete Monster, on Instagram. Sean, what's going on, man? Hey, good to be here. Thanks for inviting me. Dude, so stoked to have you on the show. So stoked to have you here, finally. So we got we got Sean in the house, and we also got what's up? We got Lee Polanski all the way to the right. Lee, what's going on, man? Welcome back from the LGP. What's going on? Yeah, thank you so much for having me, Evan. Awesome to be yeah. back, and looking forward to this one. It's a really fun topic, and great to be here with you and Sean. Hell yeah, we're getting ready. Yeah. We're getting ready. So, um, all right, let's get into this quick because we got a lot to cover. Tonight, there's a lot of different torture and death devices that we're going to be uh, talking about tonight. Basically, just everybody's in the know. We're talking only Golden Age comics tonight, so ostensibly things from the 1940s. You know, I mean, even though Golden Age kind of spills into the 50s and the late 30s and stuff too, mostly 40s comic books. Um, and I guess it's a trope we should talk about because, like with LGP, aka Little Green People, that we looked at last time we were on. Um, there seems to be another weird trope in the golden age on, on comic book covers, which is, and these were meant for children. You know, all these books are meant for kids to buy for a dime in these stores, but there is really fucking disturbing and insane elements and devices and contraptions devoted like specifically to torture and most likely death disposal. Right guys. I mean, that's really, that's, that is a common thing you, you see on a lot of covers from the, from the era. Right. I mean. Someone back me up here, please. Oh my God! Yeah, it's in, it's incredible. I, I I still can't get over can't get over the crime comics. I think they're probably the worst for kids overall. That is true. Even more so than the pre code horror or these torture covers. And I don't even think we have any crime to show tonight, and that's that's a whole other genre. That's a crime. Crazy, <laughs> Maybe crazy that's where we go and next. There's, there's, and there's, there's so many so many torture devices that while putting this list together, we're only going to scratch the surface pretty much. So there's just so many. That's true. That's what, true. What number one would be, but you know, we'll save it for another time. Yeah, we should. We should, because we should definitely get into the craziest crime covers of the golden age. Because there are some that are just absolutely some of the most violent, insane, insane things. And to, to imagine a kid going to a corner shop and you know dropping a dime and picking this up and bringing it home is really truly insane. But these are kind of similar. And something that we're going to see tonight with a lot of these books is the the pure, almost childlike imagination that goes into conceptualizing these instruments of death. Okay. It's so weird because like <laughs> the color schemes you're going to see tonight are like candy colors and they're yeah. all like happy and bright and contrasty and lots of saturation, but it's all like people being chained up and people being pulled in different directions and spikes, you know, seconds away from going through their vital organs and stuff. So it's pretty crazy. So I'm, I'm very excited about this because we're going to get into some crazy shit. Sometimes actually crazier shit than we normally get into on this channel with power comics. And that's, that's, that, that, that's a hard aesthetic to top. Uh, so <laughs> um, anyway, uh, anything you guys want to say before we dive in? Because I think we're going to dive into some of these honorable mentions because we have 10. We have our top 10, but we've also picked... You know, I don't know, maybe another whole 10 honorable mentions or so. Uh, yeah, putting we can breeze, breeze through them. Okay. But I think it'll get people, it will, you know, like wet your appetite, so to speak. Yeah. Absolutely. And and we should it's say. We just, just going through these. It's, dude, there's so many. There's so many of these. But we should say, you know, Lee was on the show last uh, th- couple months ago when we did the LGP show. You know, Sean, you're here now. You're you're a big time Golden Age collector. We all sort of met in the Golden Age collecting circle and we, and we have similar interests and we should contextualize that right so you want to tell us a little bit about you know just, you know your sort of just quick journey in collecting i mean this is a big area of interest for you yeah i mean i've been into comics my whole life um since i was a small kid my dad took me to comic stores uh there was one in in omaha nebraska that we would you would travel to called oh, dragons sick. dragons lair and uh, i would buy avengers you know and this is back when i was 10 so, um, yeah, they, my, my, I've always had collections that I've bought and sold, um, somewhere in around 2008, 2010, I, I was starting to pick up silver age, you know, the high grade silver and, and bronze. And, um, and, and then I saw, you know, stray flexing, Yaniv, 
post huh. a timely, it was a Schomburg Saturday, you know, post. Hmm. And I, I just couldn't believe that a young guy younger than me yeah. owned one of these books. You yeah. know, I just didn't, I hadn't considered that you could actually own these books. It's so weird. But I looked at this stuff in the 81 Overstreet Guide. I remember um, I got that brand new and it had an LB Cole cover. And yeah. uh, I saw LB Cole comics in there, you know, including Mask 2. Shout out. And um, and I saw Timely's, the Schomburg covers. And um, and I, I reached out to, to uh, Yaniv and we started talking. And before I knew it, I had bought a couple Marvel Mystery Comics. That's and it. And then all my silver age, all my high grade keys just went out the door. Out the window. You know? Same here. Yeah. We should <laughs> we we should explain too for the for the for the power our, our normal power people uh, who are who are used to more of the you know uh quarter bin variety that we cover on this pro fine program. The you know, Timely Comics is the first iteration of Marvel, you know, that was started in the late thirties. Uh, you know, Captain America, Submariner, Human Torch, those sort of characters from that period. Um, and Alex Schomburg that you name check there, he is an artist that's definitely, spoiler alert, going to be talked about a lot tonight because he lot. was, I think, <laughs> he yeah. definitely was yeah. the guy coming up and conceptualizing with a lot of the craziest torture devices. But Alex Schomburg is really the standout, in my opinion, one of the biggest standout cover artists of the Golden Age. And we, he also did a lot of the LGP covers. So this is kind of like, I think it's safe to say that Schomburg is kind of grandfathered in here into the power community. So... If you hear that name, Alex Schomburg, he's a big deal. Um, and that's awesome, man. Yeah, I have a similar story, too. But mine dates back only to last year. <laughs> you know, when I first saw... <laughs> when I, I, I was collecting John Tars, and then I saw my first Alex Schomburg cover, and I was like, oh, fuck this shit. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's all it takes. It's all it takes. And then it's just it's downhill from there. So you, you guys are in for a treat because... Not only are we looking at epic Alex Schomburg covers, you know, we're going to zoom... We're going to get the fucking... Zoom high res graphics here, looking at the covers. But these guys have brought, or you, Sean, you've you have you own a lot of the comics we're looking at tonight. I own some of them. Lee, I think you might have a big banger waiting for us, right? At some more yes, down the line. I have one of them. Yeah, you have one of them, but it's an important one. So, um, and Lee, just because we didn't get to your origin story last time, give us a quick uh, rundown too of how you kind of broke into this world as well too for the good people. Um, I mean. Pretty similar, I, I, um, but for me, it was probably about 10 years ago. I uh, broke into comics and just uh, started buying them. And right off the bat, I was buying silver and gold and discovered Alex Schomburg very, very early. And he, he is my favorite artist there is in, in comic books. Yeah, that's awesome. so awesome. And for, for tonight also, just the way he's able to put a whole torture device and all the different gears and cogs and all the different compartments of it onto a into one cover and show all, all these different things that are going to happen in one picture is, is very crazy that he's able to do that, which he also did a lot with, um, you know, war battle scenes and sh so many different planes, tanks, and fin them all into the page. And yeah, so we're going to yeah. zoom in today into more of a, uh, to the torture chambers that he drew, but they're, they're crazy and they're a lot of fun. And, he's uh, he's yeah, like you mentioned, he's, he did a lot of the ones that we're going to look at tonight. Yeah. And he's so meticulous. There's so much detail. There's so much to look at. And so, I mean, you know, there are non Schomburg covers that we'll be looking at as well, too. But he is the definitely spoiler alert, someone that's going to be making a few appearances tonight. Um, so, he's, all he's right. the one name to remember for tonight and, and for a lot of Golden <laughs> Age, but def definitely for tonight. Just uh, that's true. Well, that's, I'm, I'm excited to take a look at them. All right, let's do it. OK, I'm ready to dive in. Shall we get into the first honorable mention? OK, yeah. yeah, let's hit it. OK, so here we go. Honorable mention number one. It's a Schomburg cover, no surprise. Didn't quite make the list, but we'll explain why. All right, we're looking at Marvel Mystery Comics number 62, okay? <laughs> and, um, oh my God, where to start with this one? So let's just take a look. So now, just we didn't really mention this off the top, but we should say that we are sort of judging the device itself, Okay. That's that's what we're really looking at tonight versus like judging the whole cover, right? Isn't that kind of what we decided? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is just an honorable mention, guys. Yep. Just just get ready. Strap in. Tonight's going to be... We're going to be going to a lot of different crazy places. So, um, mm. okay. First, what jumps out to me is... And now this is a trope we're going to see in other issues tonight. We're going to be seeing 
this weird computer trunk case. Now, this is what year is this? Nineteen. I think this is nineteen forty-five. Well, this is 1945 which is just insane but we're you you see that how these children or young people here are strapped into this computer trunk case and it looks like their heads are about to be chopped off by this you know wrestler monster um with amazing spiked forearm uh bracelets and of course here comes the human torch to save the day and he's going to melt through the sword which is going to obviously prevent them them from being decapitated just moments before that and but it's just so weird. Like what's going on in this case? I, I, I think you just need a machine like this to hold them still. You <laughs> yeah, know, right, right. It's a very so, elaborate machine for for a bond. Like what do the dials do? <laughs> what do they tell you? <laughs> I don't know. If the dials for each one of them, they're, but these they're, they're not at the same level. But these dials here are probably like some pressurized. That's how I read it. Like maybe there's a lot of pressure going okay. on in there. Sure, you know? sure, okay. Um. But either way, this is not the only cover in the Golden Age that has people's heads that we'll see tonight in some sort of computerized, no. motorized yeah. trunk. Yeah. And, um, of course, typical, just th something to spot out, just what's cool with this cover is, like, you know, you see these little kind of gremlin dudes here, which are also just amazingly well rendered. And, and I always think of Jack Kirby when I see Alex Schomburg. I think that... Jack Kirby was somebody who just was so inspired by this like aesthetic because Jack Kirby would always go on to have like people screaming like, ah, you know, like in the corner of like a image, yeah. you know, on a cover or a splash Good page. Point. And sure. and I and, and obviously I think all of the masters to be like Kirby were definitely picking up a lot of influence from this style. So um looks like and, red high heels. Oh yeah, I was just—I I just noticed it for the first time too. That guy's got some crazy shoes. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, he's got—he's got little spiked shoes with little little red tube feet. He just has his feet in a funny position. Not not not, not that guy too. But I was looking at the monster. Look at the monster's feet. Oh, what's going on there? Is that a? What is that? Oh, that's wild. Both, both both of his feet. Wait. What Look is at both. That? You can see both of them. If you, Yes. Are they? Are they? Are they? Ca oh! Oh! Shit! Oh! Sorry. <laughs> I, I, I never noticed that before. Can't oh see because our my pictures God. are in the way. Can you move it to more to the middle. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Let me. Uh, yeah. Hold on. One sec. I'll turn us off. There we go. Look at that. Yeah. I'm getting sidetracked looking at feet. We're looking at. I don't know what this but... is. It's like cables running from the feet into the machine. Maybe. Maybe his feet are powering this device. That's what I thought at first. But look at his <laughs> other foot. His other foot has the same thing. I know they're they both that are. Is, There's a that, that is, is weird. That is I will never look at this the same ever again. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Um, but one thing I got, guys. This is tonight's also about flexing a little bit too. You know, uh, it is. Um, so I got to flex and show the good people that I was able to pick one of these bad boys up. Yeah, that's sweet. I'm gonna be uh, definitely fighting some glare tonight on the graded copies, but. Got to show it off. 6-0. Not bad, right? That is an amazing copy. Yeah. The off white. It looks like weird. white. Is it white or off white pages? Off white. Off white. Yeah, not okay. bad. Yeah. Got to have this one. Boom. So, um, all right. So, shall we get now to the next honorable mention? I think we, I think yep. we covered that one pretty good. All right. So, that's only an honorable mention, as we said. So, um, all right. Let's see. What does the next one have to offer us? I'm gonna get I'm gonna get rid of this little thing at the bottom here. One second. Hold on, everybody. I think that's better. Yeah, that's there nice. we go. Sorry, I didn't I didn't realize it before. Okay, so honorable mention number two is kind of spoiled it. I'm sorry, but here it is. <laughs> Again, another person trapped in a computerized machine of some kind um this is uh usa comics number 14 um and i don't i don't have a date on this one i'll, I'll uh, pull it up while we're talking about it but anything you guys want to cover on this one i'm going to zoom in on it this is definitely a war cover yes definitely you can see like yeah japanese era war cover with the sort of depiction there for sure but yeah this is crazy because you have these two saw blades and this is Bucky here underneath Captain America about to get decapitated in this thing. But was there a reason, Lee, that we sort of felt like it didn't really 
It wasn't it wasn't I, list worthy. Well, we were just we were putting the list together, and then as we were doing it, we just you know the the ten that we chose, we just liked more of it. But this one, what you know, this one's awesome. I think all these honorable mentions are awesome, and there's a lot that we're not even going to mention that are just that yeah, are yeah. have crazy devices. But this one is very cool, and I just uh, it was a tough list to put together. I think is the answer. Bucky is always this could have been a top ten for sure. Really, for you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, for me. Oh, um, okay. We have some. But we have there. great top ten comics, so we do. We do. Yeah, I mean, I it's mean, obviously funny. It's yeah. just a lot of machine to control two spinning blades, which is what <laughs> yeah. makes. That's a lot of machine for that. Yeah. Maybe that square machine that he's in is only to hold him. Yes. <laughs> and yeah. the one in front is to control the blades. And 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 I love how it's overkill with two blades as well too. Like it's it's <laughs> it's incredible. Yeah, um, this one is from 1944. I just uh, got got the date there for that. So 1944. Java says that ghoul is sick. I agree, dude. This ghoul yeah. is really cool. I think that also, yeah, adds a lot to the cover. You know, just that you have a ghoul operating this, you know, saw blade contraption here. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, I yeah. love that too. Can you Incredible. imagine if you had a swastika on him somewhere? Would that <laughs> that book be worth? I know, which we're gonna get to because a lot of these comics, you know, are World War II era. So a lot of the villains are Nazis, or they're depicted as Nazis, and so you know, and obviously any comic book with any Nazi paraphernalia is instantly uh, v becomes very valuable for its historic. That's purposes. kind of the cool thing about Alex Schomburg is he was Jewish, working in New York, so he was hearing right. about the Nazis before the American public were hearing about them. And That's he, right. And he was depicting them as these evil things, you know. Uh, yeah. and Captain America had to defeat them. It, so it's, it's just really cool when you take that into consideration. Yeah, totally. And then this is one of the rare non Alex Schomburg covers that we're looking at tonight. This is Saul Brodsky did this cover, which is pretty interesting because you don't really see his name pop up that much in the golden age as a cover artist. At least I, I mean, he doesn't have he, a ton. Uh, he became more prevalent um, towards the end of the timely run. He was really, he's in a lot of Atlas war, the Korean war books. Right, right, Boston right, right. A lot of those covers, yeah. Yeah, those are cool, too. Uh, all right, let's go to the next honorable mention. We're still doing the honorable mentions. <laughs> okay. Lee, I think you should take this one first. Yeah, tell well, us what's going a, on, Lee. Just a really cool device there. That's uh, a... What's it doing? It's, it's a laser beam, but it's very very elaborate. That's, <laughs> I forgot what year that is, but... I, think it's I thought it was 40s. a metal, like a metal... Something metal was being shot into her. I guess <laughs> no, I, I mean that's a beam. That's a beam. Okay. Right? Yeah. I mean, it looks like it, but it also, it's, you know, this is early science fiction here, so who knows what they were trying to, true. to go for. God, look at these characters. They're so, here, I'm going to turn us off here one second just so we can appreciate this more. Look at this, like these, this character design too is so yeah. wild. This so is weird. like this. What is that? And this is very. This is power comics to me. I mean, oh, them, we. Yeah. Okay. I thought maybe what? it was a. A robot or something, but it's not. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's very weird, but I think my power people can. Uh, back me up on this one. Yeah, someone says it's a lobotomy machine. I can see that. What's up, <laughs> yeah. Wiley? The Bart. It yeah. does look like Bart. <laughs> It's yeah. a very cool device there. <laughs> Bart. Is it like a crown? <laughs> yeah, someone said a crown like stuffed underneath like a plastic like wrap. What is that? Oh, weird. That is very weird. Wow, it's distracting. So yeah, uh clunky, weird, you know, I I th it, it 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 reminded me that like you know, of Power Comics in the way that, you know, a lot of the times on this channel when we've looked at weaponry or because guys i don't know if you know this but we've done the top 10 power weapons we've done the top 10 power oh, uh nice. yeah i gotta like, see that one that sounds we, cool yeah we did the top 10 power weapons we did the top 10 control rooms power control rooms and so a lot of it is just analyzing the technology and how it's really not in it how it's really inadequate clunky and you know <laughs> and this kind of fits into that mold so yeah the head is shaped like Groot exactly that is what it looks like um all right so i thought that was worth a quick mention should we go to the next one Should yeah. do it okay do it oh shit okay so this is uh <laughs> hold on sean <laughs> this is uh daring mystery comics what is this three two 
During Mystery Comics number two, this is Alex Schomburg. Now, this is early Alex Schomburg. I think, is this 1940? Yeah. yeah. Right? Was this 40 or 41? Uh, February, it, it looks, February 40. It looks very early for him. Wow. 1940. February, yep. February 1940. One, one of his first covers there is. Yeah, that's crazy. Because Schomburg, before he became a comic artist, prior was a pulp magazine artist. So a lot of the pulp mags, um, you know, so he's kind of carrying that style over here. And 1940, man, is like still the dawn of comics as far as I'm concerned, you know? Yeah. So it, it's amazing that he's just one of those pioneers. And man, yeah, his, this... first, uh, his first pulp cover was Experimenter uh, from 1925. Wow. I didn't know he goes all the way he has, back. Yeah, he has two brothers uh, that were artists as well. Oh shit! Although I think the one brother August did a lot of um, a lot of art, so he they they often signed their first name in the beginning, so because they didn't want to confuse each other. Hmm. So you actually got the full Alex Schomburg signature. Wow! With yeah. the date twenty five after it on that first Amazing. poll. Amazing. Wow. Yeah. Sant, I see your comment. I mean, honestly, I think it's the other way around, man. I think Kirby was, you know, just just starting out at this time, and I think that, you know, Schaumburg was really kind of setting the, really. I mean, I don't know. Correct me if you guys think if if I'm wrong, but I really think Schaumburg was setting the look for Marvel in 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 the late '30s and the '40s. I mean, that's to me feels yeah. Like it almost what, feels like he they gave him more time to do covers early. Yeah, you know, if they were more painted. They had the more of a, a painted style. He definitely took more time with the <laughs> with the covers. Yeah. Um, but then he 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 kind of changed at some point that we'll yeah. see. We and, will see. Uh, it became yeah. a little more cartoony, but I mean a lot more cluttered. Yeah, yes. I, mean, I think very early. I think there's only there's only a few handful of covers that are, have this pulpy early feeling. And then very soon he switched. It's during mystery one and two. Yeah. Sant, this is before Captain America comics number one. And this is uh, this is about a year and a half before that. <clears throat> um, so uh, what am I saying here? Uh, let's talk about the device. Someone says, "Is that hooked up to a skull tractor?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but I mean, I, I don't know. For me, ultimately, it's a, again a lot of unnecessary machinery for a gu- guillotine purposes, right? I mean, this that's <laughs> you know, it's it's which is cool. But I think we're about to get even more. Um, we're, we're about to it get more like imaginative. A, looks like a John Deere machine. Yeah. Yes, it does. Yeah. It yeah, does. We almost forgot about this one because it's all, it's kind of just like a simple. We love this cover, all of us, but it's almost just a simple guillotine. But then with all that, whatever's going on in the background, with the skull tractor, it really uh, it adds something to it to see what's going. You say what's going on in this cover? It does. Yeah, yeah. there it is, Sean. And hold on, oh, wait, hold incredible. on. Before, all right, I'll. All right, here we go. Show it off. Show it off. <laughs> yeah. So nice seven zero copy there. Ooh. Damn. And this is guys, literally one of the rarest books. Like, how many? How many of those are there? You think graded like twenty? And probably none of them have the green like that. Yeah. The color. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, you know, I I haven't looked in a while. Damn. Woo. That is unbelievable. Wow. One thing I was going to point out just real quick before we move on from this one is this is totally Ernest Borgnine over here. Oh, my God. Yeah. Right. Nailed it. Yep. Nailed it. What are you doing? <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Let's go to the next one. Sean, that's incredible. I'm so envious of that. Unbelievable. Um, okay. Here we go. Next one. Ah. That's a good one. <laughs> this is Lee all day. <laughs> Take it away, yeah. Lee. What are we? What are we looking at here? Well, it's a simple device, but it's a it's a crazy <laughs> device, and especially for a kid's comic book. But this is a the eyeball poker. Just not sure if the whole thing rotates or if just the individual nails rotate, but they're they're going to the eyes and yeah, it's a, it's messed up. <laughs> it is messed really up. messed really messed up. It is. Looks like it might just go down, but either way, <laughs> yeah. no, no matter how it works, it's messed up. Yeah, Wortham does not approve. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And look at this. But you know dude, what? Too. Most people don't Fuck. look at that. Go, yeah. go over to the hero, and yeah. and what's it? What has he got in his pants? It looks like a like dude that. is. Yeah, He's taking dude a is dump. packing. 
Yeah. <laughs> Art took a dump. Yeah. I, feel like the, I feel like the Power Comics crew would like this one. Yeah, this is very <laughs> Power Comics. Dude, look at this Nazi dude, too. Like, hey, hey, hey. Oh, that's great. Yeah. yeah. What are you doing? What are you <laughs> doing? Yeah. And this is just like, God. Oh, God. You should have put a amazing. sparkle. I never, I never noticed that that, guy's, that Nazi has fangs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. God, this is great, man. <laughs> Holy shit. Who did this cover? Who is this? Um, It's not... Yeah, it... it it doesn't have uh, oh, it doesn't say. an name tied to it. Yeah. Oh my god! Amazing. Look at this dude too. I'm not sure who did that that cover. Nazi mohawk. Um. All right. <laughs> uh. I think this is also time to cue you, Sean. Right? What do you got? Yeah. For? I have I have this one. God. Uh, that's killer. <laughs> Amazing. That's got to be a rare one too. And uh, what's the date on that bad boy? This is uh, March 1942. Wow. Fox features. Killer. That's, that's a really tough one. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Good going, man. Nice one. Love it. Yeah, I was happy to find that one. So I think it's the simplicity of the device kind of held it back a little bit, but it is pretty menacing. Like the, like the simplicity yeah. of it is pretty menacing and pretty fucked up that this is just going to you know, drive right through her eyeballs, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty fucked up. Yeah, that's a cool They're one. They're all, all the guys are weird, thing. are weird looking, and actually, she looks like she's drawn pretty decently, actually. Sure. Yeah. Totally. I like this guy too back here. Like, come on, get us out of here. Yeah, mm -hmm. love it. So cool. All right, next, next honorable mention. I think we're still in the honorables. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. Okay. This. I think I'm a little guilty of forcing this one into the honorable mentions list. <laughs> this one is so weird. Okay. This is one of the weirdest <laughs> ones. Super mystery comics. I think it's volume three issue five or some shit, but super oh. mystery comics. There's a lot. They, I think tied with the Schomburg timelies have a lot of different torture. Uh, I concepts here. Let me try to break this one down. Okay. So you have a clown. This is a fun one. You have a clown operating this, metallic twisting device here which looks sharp on the end here too but it's it's twisting around somebody's body or they they and themselves are being twisted up and then they're being unraveled here in the corner that's how i'm reading that is that once you're all twisted up with this metal they're gonna let it rip and then you're just gonna be like ah, 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 unraveling <laughs> and of course no, i hadn't considered that right that's why it's that's important fun. to look at these close. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, like, we, had, we had a lot of fun looking at this one closely and trying to figure out what's going on. And we, we didn't know where to place it on the list because it's just, it's, we still don't know exactly what's going on, but there's a lot of uh, interpretation and no matter how you slice it, it's not good. And you're getting twisted up and, oh man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess it's it makes rubby. sense because there's nothing, yeah, they, there's nothing for them to come out of the other end. So... <laughs> Hey. Yeah, Steve, Steve, Steve shouts out complicated machine requires two operators, right? <laughs> like this guy's going one way. Then the, the clown is going the other way. Yeah. That's fucking meant. This is mental, man. Like, I think that lever on top maybe determines which way they go in. Like if it goes in or out, maybe. I guess or... so. I guess so, man. That is pushes them in or sucks them in, pushes them out. Yeah, that's so it's, weird. We thought it was one of the more most imaginative devices on the whole. You know, it, even though it's not on the list for the whole yeah. list, this is one of the more imaginative yeah. ones. Absolutely, absolutely, very, very weird. Yeah. Very. And weird. it's also I, really funny they had to show the guy that's being twisted just to show what's going on with it. Because without that, yeah. you'd have no idea what's going on. <laughs> yeah, like Java said, they're screwed. Yeah, they are screwed. They're screwed. <laughs> Jesus Christ, though! Like, what the hell? I love it amazing yeah. so super mystery i had never seen that before so that was cool to actually see you know um all right let's go to the next one. Oh, oh uh, there you go i think this okay. is the last one no i think there's a few more actually oh really before yeah, I, think, I think there's a, <laughs> like two more okay this okay. is a classic alex schomburg this is terrific comics five um you know women in peril bondage cover being suspended above these ropes and um again 
this is very Kirby here, this guy in the corner, as I was saying before, but um, being lowered into this spinning sword blade, spinning sword wheel. Um, God, and Tommy guns always make make things so much cooler and of course the hooded yeah. the hooded kkk guys as well too makes it even more insane and and schaumburg too always another classic schaumburg trait which we're going to see more of is is menacing hooded figure sitting at throne watching other people yeah that's my favorite part machines. of the cover is the yeah. menacing hood guy yeah but i have a to me it looks like she's not even over the top of it like her leg is going to possibly take damage but that's it i think yeah. the guy with the gun is going to take the brunt of most of the well. Yeah, I know. If he falls, if he falls, yeah. Yeah. But it's like almost like they're going to lower her and they're missing the whole wheel. Yeah, God, look at that, dude. God, what an incredible cover. So, Sean, you you have to explain yourself a little bit because you 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 sort of said that you weren't crazy about this cover. Yeah, I just feel that the perspective is off. Mm. It just kind of makes me go. I kind of have to turn my head a little and go. She's. The, the wheel looks like it's in the background, like it's back farther in the room. Yeah. And she's in the middle of the room. Yeah. Yet somehow yeah. one of the spikes is goes yeah, into here. her leg. Yeah, here. Yeah. You're right. It's just You're weird. Right. It's weird. Oh, I do love this gradient up here though. Gee, another underrated spot of this cover is this gradient back here. And of course, the hooded dude. And I know, Lee, you're a big fan of this cover. Someone here is like, how is this an honorable mention? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, Lee, I you're, like you're a fan. Right? Says she's, she's just there so the hooded guy can look up her skirt. Actually, yeah, right. I, I like that. that. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's and then Daniel one. chimes in, the perspective being off makes it power, which is uh, possibly true. Um, okay. But it's it's it, it's it's amazing, Lee. But you're 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 a fan of this one, right? I mean, you love this book. It's it's it's, it's a it's a leg torture device, maybe. You're, you're looking at <laughs> Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so yeah, terrific I, I five. This, this is a great one. It's a, it's a good. It's a you know, it's yeah. a huge classic, awesome cover, and yeah. very cool torture device. It's we've seen a lot of you know yeah. wheels and blades, but here it's it's combined. A big spinning. I do. I see what Sean's saying, though. If if it was drawn in a different way, this device could have come off as a lot more menacing. And I love the reds and yellows, and I love that the uh, logo uh, ties into the image with the same colors. Totally. I like how the logo breaks through the boundary of the the logo box, and mm -hmm. she breaks into the logo box yeah. with her hand. Yeah, it's great. Love so that. Something also Schomburg like oh, and the little guy over there with the wrench, the kid. Uh, the oh farmer. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's great. I My love this. I love timely this. covers are when they break into the logo. Like usually yeah. it's the human torch doing it. Yeah, totally. totally. Captain I, America. I like the set it the 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 uh, second hooded cultist guy here, like with, with the gun to her head here. But obviously the perspective is, you know, intentionally. You know, it's. it's I think he's pointing at the guy across. Yeah, maybe at the. No, no, he is, but I just like how it reads like. Oh, this, how it's right know? there. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. cool. I never, I never even noticed that. Yeah, it's a nice little touch. So, all right, Terrific Five. Love that. Yeah, bought a wrench to a gunfight. Um, okay, here we go. Let's go to the next one. Okay. So here's a Captain America. This is not... This is what is Sid Shores, I'm guessing? This isn't Schomburg. This is Captain... Actually, I have this one, but I didn't pull it out. That's okay. I, I just included this here for my own personal uh, reasons, mainly because this freaks me out dude this is one of the coldest mm -hmm. most disturbing images in the in the golden age is just bucky strapped to this like gas device here yeah. he's no eyes closed no life no panic just dead or bucky it's just the coldest thing ever in this and it's so scary to me that is i don't know that guy, it... that, that monster's hand, whatever he's doing, is just it's got the green face and that big yellow hand in front. Oh, yeah. I love yeah. that. Yeah. God, you know, I never noticed his face in looking at this. Me neither. Wow. I've but never my favorite part that. of this cover is um, Captain America swinging in through the logo. There you go. The, you know, it just. Yeah. And it's, it's just weird that great. it's a book. It's like a book cover. It's book, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so. he's swinging in for it. It's tied into the middle of the book. 
Wow. So the yeah, rope goes all the way awesome. up to the top. Yeah. And goes into the middle of the book. That's cool. Yeah. I just that's just neat. Yeah, it's cool. Obviously the Pearl Harbor issue. But yeah, this is just this is fucked to me. <laughs> okay. All right. Um all right. Let's go to the next one. Oh yeah. One more super mystery comics here. This is this was just this is like like a vegematic, you know, like uh contraption here. This is just insane. Uh obviously you have these characters here attached to this key, this block here while this crazy spinning head slicer here. Actually at first Lee and I thought this skull was like an ornament attached like to the front of the device yeah. <laughs> as like a design choice. We're still not sure. I mean we don't we don't think it's just a skull sitting in there but Yeah, I don't know what that is. That's some weird stuff. Yeah. yeah, it is weird. So I don't know. I thought it's worth an honorable mention just because it's a pretty menacing looking contraption, no? Absolutely. Yeah. So, I don't know. That was a quick one to Good show. Fun torture device. Totally. All right. Here we are. Number 10. Yes. Okay. This is it, guys. <laughs> 40 minutes into the program, we're here for the top for the top 10. And, and there's so many that we could have mentioned that we did. There's just there's a lot of great torture devices in the golden age. Yeah. Absolutely freaking lutely. Okay, here's number 10. We're looking at Mr. Mystery number six. Um, who is this cover? Do you know who did who did this cover? Do you guys have this one? Yeah. Yeah. I don't okay. have one cover right now. <laughs> is a Tony Morta Yellow. Oh, yep. Mort 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 Mortellaro. Right. Mortellaro. Right. Okay. So one of the traits it, that it you see... It looks like he's maybe Italian. Yes. He may be possibly, maybe. Classic um, bondage cover from 52. Yeah. So this is the only pre-code one that's actually on our list, it Just uh, which yeah. is interesting. But also, as we said, Schomburg and his devices are really as good as yeah, it gets. Mortellaro. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. More to Mortiero, maybe more to That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is one of the only like straight pre-code horror covers um, where we're bleeding into the fifties. I guess this is our only fifties entry. Um, but God, man, this is, this is awesome. I mean, you got the hooded skull guys, which are always welcome in any golden age cover. This guy, no, oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that. Got some Jawas in the background and, um, <laughs> the and stairs that go up. You know, yeah. to infinity, which is I've always loved about this cover. True. True. Uh, I, I, I go after covers with the stairs like that. I just think they're cool. I agree. Um, I agree. You do uh, see well, a lot of that. Cool. A lot of that. He's like turning this thing, right? And then if you look at the back, it it then is connected to the machine, but it doesn't Yeah. What does it do? That's I don't know if that's exactly the right design <laughs> for this. Yeah, but... I don't think he was an engineer. Yeah, I don't think so either. Yeah, it's a little clunky. It's a little I spent clunky. time looking at this, and I, I still don't understand how it works. Yeah, I, I think love it's that. supposed to be connected to the other. I think the blue is supposed to be connected to the blue, so they used colors instead of actual, uh, you know, physics and being right. Yeah, I think this, you're right. This cover is awesome. The more I look at it, the more I, I want to own it. I remember yeah. seeing this, you know, in the Gerber guide, uh, the Golden Age guides. And, right. Um, I just I had to have it. Like, yeah, I had to I had to find a copy. All right, this, well, show this, us. Yeah, I agree. This is this is one of the, the best oh, pre-code uh, covers there is. There's, there's a lot of there's a there's that's a whole other whole other category. But as far as pre-code goes, this is up there. This is uh, this would be in my top ten for a pre-code horror. Yeah, Damn, I, look at that nice beautiful. And five it has a really five. cool torture device on it. Yeah, that's nice, Sean. Ooh, Very that's nice. a beautiful grade. Wow. Beautiful wow, that's awesome. Yeah, definitely need one of those. Definitely need to get one of those. Love it. Yeah, this one's cool, man. It's just, I, I just like the, uh, obviously I was going to say like in these Golden Age covers, you're just going to see so many of like the wheel, like w like a woman bondage cover attached to a wheel either being stretched, but this one, she's obviously being lowered into some type of, you know, ramen dish. No, some sort of acid <laughs> acid bath here. So yeah, it's 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 awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I love that one. Here's those breakfast cereal. Yeah, right. So that's number 10. Mr. Mystery number six. Okay. Uh, shall we do number nine? Let's Keep do it. it going. All right, number nine. 
Ooh. Okay. Yeah, this is this is a, this is a tough book. This is a hard book to to come across. Mm-hmm. This is Marvel Mystery Comics number six, I believe, from 1940. I'm guessing. I'm pretty sure it is. I don't know. Think any of us own it, right? None of us own this, right? I yeah. wish. No, I've never owned that one. Uh, well, please to. explain what's happening because I don't quite understand. Okay, this uh. is the, this is the Doctor Evil cover of uh, the Golden Age here, but it looks like you yeah. got. Oh, do they have lasers on their heads? <laughs> uh, we wish. Charts with freaking lasers <laughs> on their heads? Yeah. That's what we're saying. That's what we're saying. That. they're missing. <laughs> yeah, it's the best. But this is early Alex Schomburg, and what's cool about it is um, I love the, the the green dungeon walls. He's always got a great, awesome yeah. color ch- palette choice for dungeon walls. And that so you have that. Green wall. Yeah, it's it. awesome. It's, it's really killer. Cool. It's so killer. And then, of course, you got the angel here. That's this hero saving this woman. Uh, homie here who is like a proto version of the hooded, hooded, like, you know, KKK guy sitting at a throne operating a lever, you know, here because he's got, got the horns. devil horns, which is awesome. This weird cult symbol here. And he's then opening up this, I guess. Yeah, he's opening up the sharks. He's, there's a little space there, a little, a little oh, that's, metal. I get it now. That's the sliding. middle of the tank and it's going to yeah. open up. Yeah, yeah, and there's a little metal uh, sliding plate here. This this plate here slides open uh, with the lever, and then it, the shark gets to come through and, you know, bite the woman chomp. and chomp, chomp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's awesome because the... Uh, the oh, so uh, she would have been standing on that, that tank. Yeah. But yes. the angel swooped in and grabbed her. Yes. 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 Yeah. So it's... it's it's Yeah, just... I mean, it, it's, it's awesome in, in that... You know, like we, there are a lot of shark, like, you know, people being hung over sharks covers or covers of people being hung over pits of snakes. You know, that's a thing you see a lot in the golden age. And, and this is just to me my favorite, you know, shark. Yeah. Yeah, there, uh, there was a there was a few of them. Yeah, 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 for sure. This is my favorite shark oriented one. And the fact that it's built into a contraption, uh, a, you know, torture death device, I think is what's awesome about it. So we had to have like an animal based one, which I'm glad we did. Mm-hmm. For this it's like so. a cult of the shark or something I don't yeah know. yeah it feels yeah. like a religious ceremony doesn't it it does yeah definitely and oh shout out to the knights with the visors that we're seeing here as daniel points out yeah that's pretty tight the awesome design there oh amazing. Power comics yeah absolutely love it love <laughs> the like hot pink hot purple robes just oh, this cover <laughs> is awesome i definitely need to get this one at some point in time. that's a good one that's high yeah. on my list now. All right, so that's Marvel Mystery Comics number six. That's number nine. Number eight on the list. Here we go. Ooh. This was a Sean this, pick, right? I I advocated for, for this being in the top ten because the away. machine is just so damn weird. Yeah, I love how you broke this down because because you were saying, OK, first off, let's describe what we're looking at here. We are looking at uh, again. Here's Toro, the sidekick of the Human Torch. This is Alec, classic Alex Schomburg cover here. And you have the Human Torch melting through the ceiling of this metal domicile on the top. What you have here is hooded cultists who are cheering on a f- multiple families being lowered into a pit yeah. of flames. It's mothers that... with their kids. <laughs> yeah. God, that's insane. And then you There's see no these it's, it's <laughs> mothers and kids. I oh, know. It's horrible. It's mothers and children. I, I never knew what was going on on this cover until this week. Until we broke so it down. We did this. Yeah, dude. And then of course you have these, you know, weird Jawa guys or whatever troll two guys like operating this machine here. That's an elaborate pulley system which Sean, you pointed out, is hilariously. You take it away. Yeah, it's pulling them into the flames. Like, forget about gravity. Let's put counterweights on the side. Yeah. Which would hold the thing up. It, counterweights <laughs> hold the platform up. But no, the machine's going to pull them slowly into the flames. They yeah, want to see them suffer. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be slow. It's that's right. Yeah, and nothing. <laughs> that's what's great about it is this slow. <laughs> lowering Snowbear. into the flames. God, this should have been higher, maybe. Actually, this is this is telling quite the story. Yeah, and of course, Tommy Guns got to have it. Got to have some, you know, little boy bondage as well too. It's just never I enough. I get it. I yeah. get it. When he was drawing the cover, he's probably trying to figure out. Well, if 
if it, you do it normally and you just use gravity, then the chain's got to go all the way to the top. Then he's got to draw the top, and that's going to make the whole thing smaller. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm sure he, he he like thought about how he could draw this properly, and he yeah. came up with this idea. And where is he coming up with this in the fucking shower? Like, where is he? Where where is this being conceptualized? You know, I I I hope it's being sketched at like a diner on like a placemat or something. But who knows? I know I know that Schomburg, the covers that he did, he would go into the uh, the timely office at the beginning of the week, and they would describe to him the stories that were in the issue. Yeah, and sometimes there might be some art from the inside, you know, that he could look at. Right, is just beginning. And he would look at that and find out what's going on, and then he would go home and draw the cover God. and deliver it at the end of the week. Incredible. Yeah, Submariner poking out here, too. And obviously, we should say that, you know, when I first got into these, when I first got into collecting these comics, I was like, holy shit, not only do I need to own that, I need to read that fucking story. You know, I need to see what's <laughs> yeah. going on. But yeah. nine times out of ten, the covers yeah. wouldn't really reflect the stories in the inside, which is a shame. I think they did it earlier. They did, they, yeah. They tend to, yeah. yeah. But then he yeah. just kind of said, "Why, you know?" They yeah, let's just, to. They don't need to, and yeah, and that's why I think collecting Golden Age comics is almost like, in a way, collecting like you know, limited edition prints of these original amazing pieces of art, <laughs> in some ways, because it's really about the cover in in many ways. It's true. Yeah. yeah. God, so amazing. So that what, what was that? Was that number eight? That was fantastic. That was eight, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Nine, yep. ten, nine, eight. Okay. That was amazing. Holy shit. John, do you own this one? I don't own that one. Oh, I wish. damn. Yeah. I need to get that yeah. one. I, I've a, grown to appreciate this one much more. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the women and children is just unbelievable. Yeah, I, 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 wanna, I used to own it. I, I didn't even know what I was looking at, really. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I, mean, I love really that. have to. Yeah. Just to really think about these covers and what's yeah. going on. It's amazing. Yeah, I love Jabba says, are they placing bets on the uh, from up above in the viewing gallery? I think so. <laughs> One's got a stick and a whip and stuff. Like, that's just insane. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right, ready? Here we go. Uh, boom. Oh, okay. Number seven. This is the comic that took down the top 10 LGP covers. I, I think we might have downgraded it slightly because of that. You know, we didn't want it to eclipse, you know, or take down two lists. That would just be crazy. But we have good reasons behind it. So obviously this is the classic LGP Hitler cover. Uh, one of the most insane covers of the entire Golden Age, in my opinion. Classic Alex Schomburg at the top of his game here. Mm -hmm. You know, you can just see how busy the cover is. You got the little yellow people up here. You got the little gray people up here. You got uh, this woman and you got Toro. Again, more bondage. <laughs> And what are we seeing as far as the torture device here? Let's try and break this down, guys. What's happening exactly? Lee, someone, yeah. take it. No, this this is a it's a tough it's a tough one to break down. This, we spent a while trying to figure it out ourselves. I, I think I you know it it, it kind of it wasn't that interesting to me until I noticed the chains at the bottom. So obviously he's he's turning a crank, and that chain goes up the top above them and lowers them into whatever you yeah. would call that thing. Uh, right? Yeah. So it, it lowers them into this sort of chain or spike funnel, I'll call it. Right. <clears throat> and, and then I guess but, as, but I think there are chains attached to their feet. Yes, there are. Right. Well, okay. They're being pulled through this spike. But funnel. I think at the same time he's turning that it's lowering them in and pulling them through. Uh, which is right. just yeah. Which yeah, is yeah, just yeah. brutal. Which yeah, is brutal. It's, it's so then brutal. <laughs> so then as it gets narrower and narrower, they're, they're sliced being, to pieces. They're they, yeah, they're being sliced and pulled through this yeah. spike funnel. And then there's these little these little spouts here on each side that will discard where the bits come out. That's yeah. where it's all gonna come out. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, as man. if it's not gonna come from below, <laughs> you know. Oh, it's gonna go below, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna drain they're gonna drain out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, they're being pulled through. So that is also another just what the fuck design. Of course, you know, we, we talked about the hooded the hooded KKK guy at the throne watching it all go down. Oops, excuse me. But of course, you know, 
what's better than that is having some crazy goblin Hitler uh, watching yeah. that instead, which just makes the cover. With the worm in his ear. Oh, yeah. Got it. Got it. Look at this, like, Richard Scary, busy town, smiling worm that's coming out of his ear there. Just absolutely <laughs> fucking mental cover. Yeah. Wow. And that's only number seven. <laughs> Yeah, I never and noticed that the worm had eyes on it. <laughs> you never noticed that? I never noticed the worm had eyes. Nah. Yeah, it's like a little cartoon, like little Richard Scary thing. It's like crazy. So, <laughs> um, and, yeah, that's right. And like the worm is like, "What's going on? <laughs> yeah, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah, this book yeah. should be on every Golden Age top ten list. It's, it should today. be. It's like an auto include. And this, so, all right, this is one of the first uh, timelines I ever purchased. All right, oh, show it off. Nice. Yeah. Um, this is... Jesus. Christ, six five. I see, I see Sean's up close. Oh my God! Which part do you want to see? That's well, amazing. Want to see, see your book? Yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah, there it yeah. is. You can see it. Man, wow, so beautiful. Yeah, and of course, like when I started collecting Timelies and you know getting into it as well over the past year, you know I was like, this was one that was majorly 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 on my list so i had to also make it happen so i've also recently made this happen as well too not as nice as sean's but it is a beautiful 3-0 right go full screen uh i am oh okay yeah i'm watching yeah, yeah. there we are there we nice go. yeah so sorry the glare is a little shitty on my end i'm gonna i'm gonna get that worked out for next time but yeah there it is oh uh, beautiful yeah. That's a killer copy. I would be happy with that. I am. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's beautiful. Love yeah, those colors are beautiful. Yeah, guy doing little science in the back. It's amazing. Love it. It's cool. So, all right, there's uh there's that one. All right, so there is Marvel Mystery 46 is number 7. And uh, Lee, did you disappear? Where are you? There you are. Okay. Um, right here. Okay. Here. Uh number 6, that's what we're on, right? I think so, right? Oh no, wait. Yeah. That was uh, 10, 9, 8, 7. Okay, number six. Here we go. Okay, okay, okay. So we got to explain this, guys. This is number six. We had a four-way tie. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so the reason for the four-way tie is because here's a trope that you're going to see a lot, and we see it a lot. And they're kind of the same device that's being repurposed in a lot of different covers. So we thought we'd just kind of pair them all together because they're basically the same instrument. So we have here Captain America Comics number 28. Um, and, uh, of course, oh, love this gray, weird, ghoul dude. And then we're seeing here Captain America saving Bucky once again from this 5,000-pound okay. slat of metal with spikes on it that's about to kill him and then all of his organs and fluids will drain through these nice draining holes here. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a good old press. Yeah, good you press. The spikes already have red on them. Yeah. This makes him even more menacing. Dry yeah. blood. Yeah. God. Yeah, dude. Bucky has been through more shit than anybody on planet fucking Earth. Yeah. It's unreal. I got I to gotta also shout out the fact that Cap is swinging in on this spiked ball chain as well, too. Like, how fucking cool is that? Like, and then you got the Nazi and guy it goes here. through the logo. Yeah. Throwing spears. Yeah. Again, yeah, you're right. Goes through the logo, the masthead. Yeah, that is fucking amazing. God. Like, everybody's this inches is away one. from everything. Yeah. yeah. It's another one I had to have when I, when I saw it. Yeah. I don't have this for some reason. Um. Yeah. Incredible. Incredible book. All right, Sean. Show us. No. Oh, okay. Take it away. <laughs> oh my God. Eight five. Get Whoa. out of here. Get out of here with that what? shit. <laughs> Definitely had to have it. Oh my God. Who's the artist? Yeah, I is just it, couldn't, is I it, couldn't is pass it, it up. Oh man. That's Alex Schomburg. Oh right? yeah. It's just this is Schomburg cover. Yeah. Yeah. Um. From uh July nineteen forty three. I just love this cover. Just think oh, everything about it is just fucking really, amazing. Yeah, fucking amazing. Damn, is that um a, a, a single staple book too? Um, yeah, I think it. Yep. 
Yeah. Staple. I don't even see the staple. It's probably burrowed in yep, there somewhere. It's a single, it's a single staple. Yeah, comics right. from 1943 had the... Uh, from it's like, not even in the middle. It's kind of closer. Oh, a, yeah. Yeah. You know, comics from 19, 1943, 1944, and five. That's when the U.S. was rationing metal for the war. So comics only right. got one staple. Got one staple. Yeah. Yeah. So fucking cool. Love that. <laughs> one staple holding that shit together. Love it. That's killer, man. Eight, five. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Great book. Love the purple flooring. Love the yellow dungeon walls. The color jobs on these are just amazing too. Like shout out to that. Yeah. So Cap 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 Twenty Eight is um, tied again. Here's another number six. We got. Oh, here we go. USA Comics number eleven. Lee, you want to take this one? Again, another Spike Press. Yeah, I got I'm just. Not, I'm on a delay. I'm just waiting for it to pop up. Oh, you got to look at the zoom window. It'll be better yeah. Look at the, look zoom, at the window. zoom window. Yeah. Yeah. Just just oh, yeah. Look at, just look at that right. window. Otherwise, yeah. you're gonna be another, another awesome pressing machine here. I, I I love this cover. This this is one of my favorite ones of of the pressing bunch. She but, is uh, drawn so well. Is that yeah. Al Avison? Uh, I, have to, I have to look it up. I'll I'll look it up while you guys. Is it? I thought. Or I Sid thought Shores. It was, uh... No, it's Sid Shores. Yeah, that's what I, I thought was Sid Shores. Yeah, but, um... it's Sid Sid Shores. Okay. Wow, yeah, he, just, uh... he he did a just a great job drawing women. True. Yeah, and and the whole the whole thing the whole the whole picture and. The, the the turning pressing machine it's it's a lot of fun there then we got cap coming in and save the day and bucky yeah. surprisingly is is a uh, he's doing his part on this cover yeah yeah he's shooting people <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's had enough <laughs> yeah he's breaking he's <laughs> hitting his breaking point um love it yeah awesome and then just this is just crazy yeah another crazy spike press it looks like a lot of work to turn that though it looks like a lot of right? rotations are are required a lot of that. rotations yeah like they could have made slow, the thread definitely they could have yeah. made the threads wider yeah. but they used narrow thread <laughs> yeah <laughs> or they could have just made it where you just push it but i guess maybe they would need more force but yeah wow yeah, that's yeah the Black Dragon Society. Yeah, crazy cover. So that is number six, also tied with the next one. Another. <laughs> this is the best USA Comics number six. Oh my god! Oh yeah, god. This, this one's insane. <laughs> I love this one. This poor shot. Press for the head. Oh my god! Yeah, the track the the geared wheels. Just it's so the cool. Spinning. It has to. It's spinning also. It's spinning. You're it's right. Spinning. I never noticed that. Yeah, it's um, rotating. So it's so it's as gonna, it's being pushed. Yeah. It's spinning the blades. Oh, oh that's God. brilliant. That would freak me the fuck out. Actually, guys, these look like blades, and these look like spikes. Oh they, my God! I never noticed yeah. that. You're right. They're that double. Either. They're double sided. Yeah, blades. So that's even like <laughs> overkill to the point. That's so overkill. But I love Man, it. It's like a lot of thought into this. Yeah. It's like this Nazi guy's like, we will set this up on the floor here and we shall, you know, it's like totally fucking insane, dude. That is crazy. I, I love how all these artists were trying to outdo each other and trying to outdo themselves on, the, on you know, Schomburg was trying to outdo his other machines and always just, they're always just pushing the limits on, on crazy contraptions. I just bet they did this just, these. just to show off to each other. Totally. Yeah. Totally. I bet you I could think of something more fucked up than you can. <laughs> That's pretty good. Just wait yeah. till next month. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Amazing. And, uh, again, this is Schomburg. And this is a weird cap drawing for Schomburg, I feel like. No? Yeah. What? It's kind of a weird Schomburg face to me. It's a weird Schomburg. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't look like a Schomburg cap. It is, though. Maybe someone else drew the face or something. You know, I could see that, like this being like an Al Avidson face or a Sid Shores. It looks face. like an Al, yeah. It looks like yeah. one of his faces. Or it does. Even Sid Shores, you know. Yeah, and then he drew everything else because everything else is like perfectly rendered. And you know yeah, what's the, interesting? The it's like, like yeah, it does. Like this over here really does. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, God, Bucky, Jesus Christ. All right, and then the last <laughs> one that is tied for number six is. The Mega. Oh, man. This one is just absolutely amazing. Oh, yeah. 
The queen Marvel sized mis- one. This is the big one, right? Yeah, this is this is it. Marvel Mystery Comics number 52. Again, we're seeing a huge spike press here. Built for two. A spike press for two. <laughs> Um, again, here we go. Hooded, hooded KKK guy holding a swastika skull scepter. Jesus Christ. Um, and such, human a big, Torch. such a big machine to control it too. Oh yeah. And this just like chunky computer here with, you know, RCA cables coming out of it. Um, <laughs> you know, and the human torch obviously melting through the swastika into this awesomely lit and beautiful off white cream color on the bricks. I must say nice touch. Makes the foreground pop. And um, I love it. And God, again, I love the outfits here. The colors of the green and the purple and his purple. And yeah, it's just the colors on these are just fantastic. I mean, anything else you want to say about them? They couldn't have gray uh, bricks, you know. They must be painted. Yes, yes, yeah. (laughs) Just absolutely amazing. And I don't know about you, but guys, this was the first... um, this was the first timely I ever bought. So, oh, okay, it's a good one. <clears throat> yeah, this that's was the one of the first one. ones I ever bought too. Really? Way back when. So yeah. Here's here's my copy here. Six O, off white to white. You know, again, this is from 1944 February, so I had to have it. And uh, another single staple book, but just a beautiful color. And look at these colors popping. This is like Ooh, beautiful. 80, 80 yeah. years old, and it's like the colors are still perfectly preserved you know yeah so that's awesome yeah yeah so marvel mystery comics number 52 anything else on this one or should we move on i just want to say this is this is an awesome device here this is as as big and crazy as it gets but the device almost takes up the whole cover when you look at it it's so big and awesome oh sorry sean just had to show his ado show me up here (laughs) Oh my God! Nice, got an eight O of that. You just don't see this. Yeah, I mean, this is how much I love this cover. Yeah, you know, I, I, uh, I, I, wow. I upgraded this just last year. God, that's beautiful, man. That is beautiful. Wow, that's a great book. That's amazing. Love it. Mar- Marvel Mystery is, has a, so many amazing covers, but this one's up there as one of, the, I think, one of the better ones. I agree. I think this is like top. This is this is definitely in the top five or yeah. Like so. a job has said, this one must be six thousand pounds of pressure. Can yeah. you imagine? <laughs> yeah, no, God, It'd be completely no. flat. Yeah, and and you have to imagine that it's probably lowering pretty slowly too, which I think is really even scarier. You know, right? Or do they just drop it on you? Like, God. what do they do? No, oh, it's, I'm, it's, I'm it's sure slow. It's, everything's slow. Yeah. I have a feeling. Yeah, yeah. it's got to be slower. The more slow, the more painful. Wow. Okay, so that's Marvel Mystery Comics number 52. Let's go to number five. Number five on the list. Oh, yeah, wait. He says, are they using flamethrowers on the Human Torch? Huh. No. No, he's throwing fireballs. They're shooting at him. Which yeah, they're just shooting at him. Too much either. Yeah, they're just they're shooting, just shooting at, him. at him. Yeah, okay. All right, number five is Mystic oh, Comics yeah. number nine. <laughs> Uh, this is first off. We gotta just introduce my favorite hero of the golden age, by the way. The uh, mm-hmm. looking very glam punk rock. Uh, this is the destroyer, who awesome character. You know, who is a journalist who was stranded over in Germany, captured by the Nazis, and uh, he was given a super serum similar to Captain America, and then uh, became super powerful, and then donned this outfit to scare and intimidate the Nazis. But he's really one of the only superheroes that was like over in germany purely fighting nazis and he was there the whole time right yeah the whole time and liberating concentration camps as well so just a very and historically the allies won he just kind of disappeared yeah. i guess he took That's... his costume off and said eh, i'm done yeah yes yeah kind of like a punisher prototype totally yeah love it and so here we have hitler who is <laughs> has this woman on a wooden rack that's connected to a pulley system that is <laughs> pushing her into, or on wheels, I guess, pushing her into a spiked, because it has to have spikes or it's no good, a spiked, I guess, flame oven yeah. gimmick? What would you call that? Yeah. Yes, it's, it's a spiked oven. If, <laughs> if it was just an oven, this might not make the list, but a spiked oven 
just is this is as crazy as it gets and hitler's controlling it yeah he's absolutely. pushing her in absolutely insane and then of course you have hirohito up here but yeah destroyers busting in and hitler himmel mein head <laughs> yeah <laughs> So yeah, this this cover is uh, by Al Gabriel, who I think is one of the more out there cover artists of the time. I mean, his stuff is really fucking freaky. As you can see, like the 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 purport, like the perspective proportion of what's going on is like kind of dizzying, but it's still just awesome. I love everything's just big and chunky, like you know how big she is compared to how big he is, and it's just it's really disorienting, <laughs> but awesome, right? Um, it's again, incredible. It, it all fit. I, it's amazing so, that it all. Since Sean, you've showed me up now for several comics in a row. How about oh, you, you show your... show me up big time here? I'm going to show you up big time. So how about you show okay. yours first, so I can even show you yeah. up even more. Okay. You show yours. I'll show it's mine. So hard to find a copy of this book, unless yeah. your name is Evan Husney, then <laughs> it just fall into your lap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah nice show. yeah so he got a two five restored copy a restored is... copy what's you the restoration what? it used to be it used to have all this writing across it the logo oh, i mean really? it was in sad shape and i sent this to kenny and uh and and he restored the restoration you know what um power comic people keep note of the name kenny because i'm going to do a video about kenny when I get my, uh, I, I I had a book sent to Kenny, and he uh, yeah Kenny Sanderson. He is the Mad Doctor repairer of comic books, and so I'm gonna I, I had something um, conserved by him, and so you'll I'm gonna do a whole video about it once I get it back, so you'll see that. Oh, good. Um, but let me quickly show up Sean just real fast. <clears throat> um, here is the that's six a, just a stupid high grade for that book. <laughs> six five I, I think that's one one of the hardest timelies there is yeah really yeah yeah dude i have a 2.5 restore come on <laughs> i've been looking for years <laughs> yeah. you come on and a year later you have a six five <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah <What> else? so <laughs> six five mystic nine very happy with i i mean destroyer is my favorite character in the golden age so i i just had to splurge for any of the destroyer covers uh at all so yeah it's a beautiful yeah. book thank you man appreciate it yeah that's awesome so um all right shall we get to the next keep this party going all right so that's mystic nine the spiked oven okay here we go let's go to uh oh sorry number four now we're on number four here we go now we're getting up there ah uh, <laughs> okay sean might take some issue with this one but i put this high on the list and we're gonna break it down Here's uh, Blue Ribbon Comics number seven. Now, I thought the Power Comics crew was going to fucking love this shit. Okay. So what are we seeing here? We're seeing some machinery operated here. We're seeing some very droopy with a lot of too much slack in the um, conveyor belt <laughs> of these maybe dead, maybe alive bodies with a conveyor belt to hell, essentially, inside this, the mouth of this crazy dragon cat. Um, so I don't know. And just the, the crudeness of the artwork, this is definitely not Alex Schomburg, <laughs> <laughs> but the crudeness of the art and just how nightmarish, this is something I would see in my fucking nightmares. And just for that reason, I had, I had to bump it up. I had to give it a high, a high placement. What's your vibe on this, Sean? Are you are you are you super anti? Well, the artist is Ed Small. Yeah. Um, no, I think this is a cool. It is a contraption. I mean, this is yes. This is quite a contraption to get those bodies up yeah. to that <laughs> that mouth, which I think has got flames on the other side. <laughs> oh yeah, and they're not dead. They're not dead bodies. That person in blue there definitely has her eyes open. That's right. And the very front of the, uh, could, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's about as scary and this weird is scary. As, as it can get. They, they were trying that's to say, what's the scariest, weirdest thing we can possibly make? And this is what they came up with. Pretty cool. It's so weird and so scary and so freaky. <laughs> yeah. It's not yeah. even attached really well. It's just like, it, look, it is coming off where, where the 
devil demon guy underneath the blue guy, you can see the 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 tract is is not even attached. It's just kind of loose on top of those rollers. Well, check this out. Sant uh, Farrell just said <clears throat> it took me 15 seconds to realize the dude in black was not operating the machine but destroying it. I guess yeah, that that is what's happening here, right? Okay, yeah, he's pushing it up. Yeah. God, I never he's... noticed that before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I never noticed that either. <laughs> I thought he was like the mastermind. And then so then this guy's yeah, like, too. "Ooh, stop it." <laughs> you know, like what side is this fucking weirdo on? You know? Yeah. Yeah, dude, we need a we need a freaking poster of this. This kinda is actually like Frank the Bunny from Donnie Darko. <laughs> it kinda does. Does. Yeah. 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 Totally. This is uh actually MLJ Comics. Uh the publisher behind this. And you gotta love how there's just a portrait of a wonder dog on this dude. <laughs> like just to make it even more weird. Rangatang, the wonder dog. Rangatang the wonder dog, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just what I think the his hell? first appearance is in Blue Ribbon Comics number one. God, that's so weird. That is a truly nightmare vision. No, it's actually MLJ. Uh, oh, oh, is that the fox? I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Maybe you're right. Maybe because I was thinking Fox, the pub, the, the publisher Fox. But no, I think you're right that this is. See, it says here the fox. Can the oh, amazing yeah. boys daring leap save the fox? We got to read more, guys, because that's what yeah. it says. Yeah. So this is must be the fox. Weird. Weird. Reading? All right. Well, I gotta also flex a little on this one too. As soon as I saw a picture of this comic, I knew I needed to have it. So this is this is recent. I just I just just recently acquired this. So nice. Killer uh, book. Three O. Very I'm rare. I'm gonna have to one up you. You oh. got one. You got one. Oh, that's Lee. Sorry. Where are you? There you are. Ah, uh, what do you got? Whoa. Sam! Nice. Ah, <laughs> uh, I didn't know you yeah. had this. Yeah, oh, you got the Pinnacle Hill one. Nice. Oh yeah. my god, very nice. Oh man, look at me all sad with my three O over here. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, Not sorry. No. That's a sweet. That's a sweet three point oh. Yeah, that is awesome. All right, let's uh, let's do it up. Top three time, boys. Should we do it? Yeah, do it. Here we go. Top three, top three. Here we go. Number three. And. Ah. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. Another Schaumburg, another Marvel Mystery. Marvel Mystery Comics number 34. Now, I used to own this, and I and I got rid of it because the colors on it were very faded. Um, so I'm, I'm on the prowl for another one, but at first glance, you're kind of like, okay, maybe this contraption really what's going on here. But Lee and I took a really close look at this and we kind of boil it down for, for a while. You look at it and you wonder what's going on in 10 minutes and you're still trying to figure it out. But, it, but once you start figuring it out, it's, it's nutty. Yeah. So what you're seeing here obviously is Toro being suspended by chains inside of this cylinder with spinning multiple spinning saw blades. One, two, three, four, five, six spinning saw blades. And then, of course, he is surrounded by very awkward looking bugle chip shaped uh, drills mm -hmm. as well, too. Why not? I don't know. Yeah, Are like, those... like big screw head or screws or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's pretty weird. <clears throat> and then, of course, uh, but that's not it because we're seeing here this awesomely rendered ghoul operator here. Oh, man, that is just so cool. And he's operating the pulley system here as well, too. But built onto this contraption, we have a uh, or we hope it's built onto the um, contraption is the anti infra flame ray, which is, of course, I'm guessing, trying to nullify the effect of the human torch and his ability to, you know be constantly on fire and burn through shit and um yeah i think that Pretty just cool. kind of it's kind of its own defense mechanism and of course you see that it's got these multiple pulleys up here and he's bursting through the machinery itself which is cool and what i love about the human torch too which i, I touched on in the lgp episode we did there's just nothing more fucking menace like imagine what this scene would sound like 
<laughs> you know, like if you were there, yeah. you know, like a guy screaming on fire, melting through a wall, busting through machinery, all the chaos of this. It's just, it's incredible. It's just absolutely like he's of the course scariest. Those machines are probably loud. Yeah. Yeah. Just have that a feeling. Just, and the saws yeah. and everything. And, <clears throat> and just like yeah, the human torch is the scariest superhero of all time. And I just love how amazingly well rendered he is. Look at that. Just incredible. Yep. Amazing. Amazing. The machine is so big that we can't even see the parties breaking through, but it's it's way up above everything else. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's how big this thing is. Yep. Yeah, I love that. Like glass window back there or something. Yeah. So cool. So that's why it, it got number three, just for the complexity. It's got its own self defense mechanism. <laughs> you know, it's pretty cool. Yeah. I Wiley yeah, ready for all... the human force to break and they they knew he was going to. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yes, Wiley, you're right. If, if any of the Marvel movies had any of this shit, I mean, they have all the inspiration they need right here. Jesus Christ. Unbelievable. All right, so that's number three. see this on the big screen. <clears throat> oh, my God. Are you kidding? Yeah. Um, is that a knife in one guy? A knife? Uh, where? Oh, these guys, too, we got a shout out, too, with their ears, like skull guys with ears. Like, that's super weird, too. Love that. They're scrolls. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a knife. I don't know. That might be on the ghoul guy's like tool belt. But that is weird. There's a knife in his head there. I never noticed that. That is very weird. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Yeah. Never noticed that. Gotta love how the infra flame ray is also operated by steering wheel too. <laughs> 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 Gotta love that. All right. Number two. Here we go. We're, we're getting up there. Oh, I love this one. I'm so excited about this one. I'm so pumped for this one. Number two is... I'm pumped too. Mystic oh, yeah. Comics number three. Now, this is early Schomburg. This is 1940 as well. And again, we're kind of coming full circle here with the uh, honorable mentions. A person strapped yeah. into a weird computer chest with pressure valves. And he loved this. This is like his fetish here, I think. Um, and But this one is very intricate. But also, you'll notice here, I'm going to turn off our screens here. You'll notice that there is a pulley system lowering a spiked mask, or presumably a spiked mask, but an iron mask of some kind onto her face. And there's a <laughs> few comics that have this trope of forced mask wearing. And I think this is my favorite forced mask wearing. Oh, cover. yeah. And. It's I'm just amazing. Green wall, and the green <laughs> walls in the back. Oh, oh. There's so much coolness. Yeah. And, and the machine's just awesome. Even without the mask, which definitely is a, a huge bonus for it, but the machine itself is just so machine cool itself and crazy is... by, its, uh, by itself. Yeah. And and so well made in this picture. God. And it's Absolutely. huge. Look at the bank. That yellow bank of dials in the very back, in the middle. Yep. You know, I mean, it's, the machine it's just old. goes on for days. Yeah. It's, it's elaborate. I love how you just have Flexo over here, too. Like this <laughs> totally stupid <laughs> robot in the corner. And I love this guy, too, obviously coming through the trap door. That's super imaginative. And and then, of course, yeah, someone mentioned he looks like the Phantom, like, or, you know, yeah, like the Blue Beetle. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Total ripoff, but amazing. I love the shadow on his face. This cover is awesome. It just really gets my imagination going. I love it. Yeah. The cross hatching on the wall is amazing. Yeah. Incredible. God, amazing shit. All right, it's time for show and tell on this one, Sean. Let me do mine first because you're going to kick my ass again. Um, <laughs> again, this was one of the early uh, um, Golden Age covers that I saw that was like, I need to own this. And it took me about a year to get it. And I finally got a copy of Full it. Full year. Full year to find this <laughs> one, yeah. I could not find this. There, there, there was only like really low grade or... The pages were brittle, you know. I couldn't find like a nice copy of it until recently. Lee, you hooked me up. Thank you very a much. Year's impressive. It was about a year. This was really early. I, I'm on. being very sarcastic. I agree with you. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you if you don't know me, I'm being very sarcastic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Only a year. That's what we're talking uh -huh. about in this. A year's <laughs> long in Evan time. Let's just put it that way. Um, okay, so. <laughs> So uh, here's my copy, and it is raw. So I have an oh. ungraded uh, Mystic oh, it's 3. it's amazing. Yeah. yeah, it does. Yeah. A nice copy. 
Yeah, I think it was a Lee. What was it? A three five, three five. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that I come actually, from you, Lee. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yep. I think that this one can. Uh, I think, I think once we fix the spine roll on it, I think it's definitely going to get a four. I have, I have, I have, I'm pretty. I have, I'm having a good uh, feeling. That's that a great grade a for that book. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, regardless of the grade, that the colors on those are awesome. The yeah. colors are yeah are really nice. Yeah. All right, blow me out of the water. <laughs> All right, let's see here. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <clears throat> wow. Nice. That's insane. Beautiful. All, all these 6.5s you've shown, for, for the books that they are, might as well be you know, 9.4. I know. <laughs> I know. We're so casually dropping crazy like, grade for these. the crazy grades for these like 85-year-old books. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Yeah, well, you're, yeah. this 1940. Yeah, June yeah. 1940. Origin that, of Hercules. That 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 means that that was on the stands in like March or February of 1940. Like that is so fucking crazy. Love it. Very <clears throat> early comment. So, yeah, I I just love the imagination behind it. I think the forced mask wearing for me on top like of the torture that's just that just puts it on a whole nother level for me in terms of what i love about this cover and both all, all three of us like respectively were like okay we're doing the top 10 what is it and we're like um okay it's you know mystic three like we all were like instantly gravitated towards mystic three yeah like, so like we, i think so. we, even beyond just the device we, we all love this cover it's just one of the love it like how Sant cool Farrell said, if I learned one thing from this episode, is that Schomburg had drawing chains down to a science. Totally. <laughs> totally. Yep. hundred percent. hundred percent. So, um, oh my God. All right. So Mystic 3, just the best, one of the best that there is. All right, oh, guys. God, are, yeah. you, are you ready for number one fucking drum roll? Are we fucking ready for this? <laughs> um, so this... Oh boy, this is a uh well first we're gonna hit you with it. Now we're gonna have to explain because I've seen this cover so many times. I've looked at it many times. It's uh a, a book I don't own, but all the times I've considered trying to own it at one point, I've been like, wow, this is really cool. And you know, I'm instantly drawn to one aspect of it, but I never quite like um picked up on the details. And that's what we're gonna get into with this. And I think the con the, the concept behind it is what elevates it to number one for me. I, th I think it's a fun number one choice. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Oh, yeah. The number one craziest torture and or death device of the Golden Age goes to Captain America Comics mm -hmm. number three, <clears throat> Alex Schomburg <laughs> cover. Um, again, all right, let's break this down because I've always looked at this as okay first off dude the fucking masthead sorry the coolest oh, masthead the most Seriously. beautiful fucking masthead in all of comics right there amazing i agree yeah. so yeah. good so my good. favorite time so, masthead okay so then we're we're looking at obviously i'm always gravitating towards red skull because you're like fucking a red skull oh my god amazing yeah. right and this is his first cover appearance <clears throat> and this yep. is also notable for being Stan Lee's first ever published work is a tech story on the inside too. So this is the first Stan Lee stories and first Stan comics. Lee uh, comic. Yeah, yep. It, yep. Is in here. If but okay. Has so much going for it that the device is often overlooked and just. Yes. Yes. Yes, exactly. So let's. You let's know why they a... had tech stories inside Evan. Oh yeah. Uh, please um, explain for the good people. Yeah. So uh, it, it allowed them to, uh, to, to qualify for cheaper postage. That's right. For the, for the mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's why all the golden age <clears throat> books have like a two page tech story in the center, um, which you'll see. And that was Stan Lee's first ever job in comics was writing one of those. And it was in this issue. So anyway, okay, check this out. Um, so I've always looked at this as like, okay, we got a woman in a tube and you know, we could do top 10 women in tubes, uh, list at that's some a point. good one I saw yeah that's a really good one actually yeah. <laughs> that's a really good one yeah okay so maybe this will segue into the top 10 women in tubes uh list we'll do yep. soon um because that's kind of what i looked at this and thought of it as okay but no it's much more complicated than that <clears throat> she is strapped inside of this very large cannon 
okay, that's about to be launched, and check out where she's being launched to. Not to space is what I thought. No, she's being launched to a fucking war zone, an active <laughs> battlefield. <laughs> so the fact that she's being strapped to this machine here to be launched into war, and of course, Bucky's playing. Okay, hold on. We're coming back. We're coming back. We're back. Sorry, guys. We disconnected there for a second. I don't know what that was all about, but we are back. Uh, I don't know if you heard what I said, but uh, are, are you guys still there? Yep. I'm okay, still cool. here. Sorry, I don't know. We dipped out there for a weird little weird glitch there. But yeah, the fact that okay, I don't know if I'm gonna I don't know if you heard what I said about Bucky, but he's being strapped in this very suggestive quasi sexual manner here to this bomb, <clears throat> which is very phallic here in what uh, is happening. And then of course I, I would assume that the bomb is gonna adhere to this cannon and, and so she's gonna be blown into the war zone um uh and and uh, I guess along with a bomb and it's gonna blow everybody up. <laughs> yeah, I right? wonder. I don't know. What do you think? You don't think that's what's going on? Maybe he's being wheeled to a plane where he'll be dropped. That's possible. Lee, what do you think? I, I've always assumed that I could be really off, but I've always assumed that Bucky was being tied to the bottom of the bomb and he's going to be t twisted in below the woman and they're all going to be shot off together with the plan. <laughs> That's just the way I looked at it. You know. Hard yeah. to see what's going on over here. Regardless, though, a woman being shot out of a cannon into an active battlefield seems like one of the most insane ways to die. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure. <clears throat> you know so i think regardless if the bomb is part of it or not it's pretty fucking insane and look look at this homeboy back here hold on let me turn our cameras off homeboy back here dual wielding back here the two levers like that's fucking yeah. sinister oh yeah look at that yep look at that like yeah and that red skull too is just fucking amazing dude what's up man cave is there an ice scope at the top of that for aiming looks like it <laughs> what is that I don't know. Oh, and it's like attached here too. So who knows, man? But I love how yeah, it looks like that out when we were looking at this the other day. What what yeah. is going on with that? What what is it doing? But it's crazy. we have no answer. Yeah. I love how it's like one of those like telescope sort of looking gimmicks over here too. Like pretty cool. Like, um observatories. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. So that to us, you know, look, this is a famous comic. It's a crowd pleaser. We figured this, you know, better give it to one of the classics here. <clears throat> so here's the number one torture slash death devices. And there you have it, your top 10. But before we go, I'm sure a few of you guys might own this comic. First, let me start with, I don't know who's got, Sean, you own this one, right? I think so. All right, let's let's do Sean think, and then let's do so. Lee. <laughs> you think so? God. I think right, Lee probably has me beat. Okay, well, that's why we're going to finish with Lee. So, all right, here we go. Sean, show it off. It's all yours. Whoa. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. Damn, dude. It's Holy not bad. shit. That's beautiful. 6'5". Yeah. yeah. Off Another 6'5". This is an insane grade for that one. I know. We've just been 6'5 in all fucking night. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, a, it's a beautiful grade. Especially yeah. for the Great. Books. yeah, I, I'm happy. This is good enough for me. I need that. I'm, I need that. I'm done. I fucking need that. That's great. That's nice awesome. work, man. All right. It's time for Lee to shine. That, the only yeah, so book just, you own on the list. I have one book for tonight, which I've actually had this sold, but I'm holding on a time payment. So <laughs> very happy to have, <laughs> have it right now. Know. Be able to show it up. Oh, oh my God. I, I do. <laughs> I do love this book. I think, as we said, there's a lot going on for it. And that's show the grade. Six figure book. Show the grade. Eight out. Yeah, that's definitely a six figure book. Holy yeah. shnikes. Oh, first, wow. first Stan Lee, first Red Skull, and amazing, <laughs> awesome Captain America torture device cover. That's white pages? Love this one a lot. What's the page quality? What was it? What's the page quality? Oh, it's, it's a off white. Pages off white. Wow, nice, nice. I would uh, not be with the you know, off white. <laughs> hey, six six five on the book is it absolutely insane? <clears throat> that is absolutely crazy. Wow, some great books tonight, guys. Some great torture devices. That was a lot of fun. 
counting down the top really fun 10 category great category put the list together yeah we got to work yeah, on the fun. next we got to work on the next list i mean women in tubes um hypodermic That's needle covers i like needle covers too those are fucking freaky that yeah. could be good yeah yep yep yeah yep. we also we and also the, got uh, the yeah. worst the crime covers could be fun yeah Crime, crime covers, covers yeah. yeah. Crime covers are really like the most notorious, the most the most sadistic crime covers. Uh, we could do the hooded guy covers. We could, yeah, we could show That's you. We could one. show you our favorite hooded guys. That's a good one. Yeah, our graveyard yeah. scenes, best graveyard scenes, Ooh, maybe. Ooh, top ten graveyards. That's a good idea. Good yeah. call. Shit, the world. There's, there's a lot of great categories. <laughs> yeah, it's endless. I love it. I love it. All right, I'm down. If you guys are, whenever you want to make a list and you want to show them off. Oh yeah. I'm down. Mm-hmm. I'm fucking down. So, Anytime. all right. Well, um, thank you everybody for tuning in. We went an hour 30 on that. That was awesome. Uh, appreciate you guys tuning in and checking out the show. Um, real quick, just quick little announcement. Um, we're going to, you know, uh, we haven't done a video in three months, so this is our first, you know, our coming back, coming, uh, coming back to it, uh, a big event here. <clears throat> um, we're we're going to do some more videos. Uh, I have Gabe lined up. We're going to try and do something next week. Um, I'm trying to keep the channel as active as I was before, but it's going to be a little tough. Dark Side of the Rings coming back in May, so there's a lot of shit going on. I just moved, so bear with us. We are going to get some more vids out. These guys will come back and do some more Golden Age shit, so um, stick with us. Awesome. But um, yeah, and uh, make sure you're following us on Instagrams and uh, sign up for the Patreon if you want to read uh, John Tars and uh, things like that and other comics. <clears throat> and um, yeah, and then I'll put these guys' social handles and links to Sean's and uh, Lee's uh, social medias if you want to follow them as you should because they post amazing books all the time. Uh, I'll put those in the in the description of the video as well too, so you can uh, check that out. I should probably start posting again. It's been a while. Post. You have the best hey, collection sure. ever. Yeah. Um, so all right, guys. Well, we'll see you uh, next time. Thanks so much for tuning in. And oh, Tom Tarpy, what's up, Tom? Woo, uh, Tom Tarpy, guys drew the cover to John Tar Returns. So John Tar artist in the chat. Right oh, there. that's cool. Well, Mr. Uh, Tom, Tom Tarpy. To John Tar celebrity. John Dude, Tar. Quick thing about John Tar. John his, Tar name is, his name is Tom Tarpy, and he has a brother named John. So he has his brother as John Tarpy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. That's Tom, awesome. I love you. I love you, Tom. Be a fun okay. Family. Yeah, great John Tar family. Okay, all right, all right, everybody. We'll see you later. Have a good rest of your week, and we'll catch you next time. So long. Bye bye. All right, thank you.